Hello and welcome to Pactionual. Today we talk about self-confidence. The concept of self-confidence seems to be a highly overrated topic. Everywhere, experts in various fields discuss the need for people to be confident of themselves, or, at least, appear to be. Given the vital role self-confidence plays in the success of any individual, it is necessary you know how to project yourself as a confident person and start recording massive changes immediately. If you have ever struggled with lack of self-confidence, here are a few handy tricks to help give you a confidence boost. 1. Start from the inside, work on your mindset. One of the major challenges faced by those who often display symptoms of not being confident enough in themselves is the problem with their mindsets. In most cases, they battle with that tiny, nagging voice at the backs of their heads which consistently tells them that they won't ever be good enough and that it is safer that they don't even try to do or achieve anything with their lives. Imagine sticking a telescope into the brain of such a person. You will most likely find a thousand little ogres running around in there and singing lullabies of everything that can reduce his confidence to him. It is funny that in most cases, these people actually tend to be much more creative and innovative than the average person and often have these things they are exceptionally good at. But they rarely ever go far because they are limited by their minds. Under this condition, the only way out is by performing a mindset overhaul. This would be the art of trying to consciously reprogram and recalibrate the mind to be able to perceive and hold concepts it was not able to hold before, good concepts. This can be achieved by reading good, inspirational, and motivational books, consciously tricking the mind into accepting that the person is all shades of amazing through daily affirmations and continuous confession of what the person wants to experience, which, in this case, is increased levels of self-confidence. So, instead of saying to yourself, you are nothing, consciously interject your day with moments when you vocalize how awesome you are. This will come in handy with giving you a confidence boost. 2. Hang around with the right people. It's no news that the kinds of people we hang around play a major role in shaping up who we are. The more a person hangs around losers and those with low self-confidence, the more the chances are of him catching the low self-confidence virus. Your relationships will always either make you or mar you, there are no in-betweens. Also, you will need to find a trusted person, mentor, advisor, friend, whosoever, to take a critical look at you and analyze your confidence quotient. Have him, her analyze you as you interact with people, and let him tell you how you come across to others. Does he see you as one who is lacking self-confidence, or do you have sufficient levels of self-confidence? It is advisable you select someone who has a keen eye for details. Some indicators they will see will be non-verbal and will require them to look beyond the surface, down to your body language. Keep an open mind when they are to review your confidence quotient. The goal is to help you become a better person, not kill you. Remember, you need a trusted person for this exercise to be as successful as it should. 3. Work on your mode of communication. Highly confident people have a signature way of communicating, they do so with so much accuracy and precision. If your goal is to come across as highly confident, then there are modes of speech that should be a no-no for you. They should be bundled up and thrown as far away from you as they can get. You cannot be looking to build a confident persona while being a brash, vulgar person with no brain-to-mouth filter, it doesn't work that way. Polish your words. Speak flawlessly and with grace. You are trying to project yourself as being confident, speak like a king. 4. Work on being a master at some skill. When your mind interprets you as less valuable or without value, with respect to the class of people surrounding you, chances are that your self-confidence will begin to drop. One of the strongest foundations of high self-confidence and a strong sense of self-esteem comes from knowing you are competent in an area or with a skill. When you know your onions, you will walk with your head held high, knowing that people in your world actually need you and that there is something you can do in some way which no one else can do exactly. What better self-confidence boost is there than this knowledge? 5. Dress the part. Dress the part? Oh yes, dress the part. One way to easily come off as a person of self-confidence to people is when you dress well. Your dressing creates an impression of you in the minds of others, even before they hear you speak or see you display your expertise in a field. First impressions matter, right? So before stepping out of your house every day, take a few minutes to stand in front of the mirror and judge whether or not your outfit presents you as the self-confident person who is on top of his game as you want to be presented. Away with scraggly outfits and mismatched combinations. You want to be seen as a self-confident person, dress like the king or queen you are. 6. 
know your values, act on them, and refuse to be bullied into compromise. True success is knowing your values and living by them. Russ Harris, author of The Confidence Gap. One way to brand yourself as a man of confidence is when you are entirely clear about your values, and you stick to them. When people see you as one who is fixed when it comes to his values, especially if the values are right ones, their respect for you grows. They may or may not tell you, but they have more respect for you. Apply these hacks, but be sure to remain within the boundaries of caution. The line that separates self-confidence from pride, arrogance is pretty thin, and you don't want to find yourself swinging over to the other side of the pendulum. Hey! Don't forget to like this video, share, leave a comment and subscribe to us. Until next time, bye!